Inside this box is a very special camera for many different reasons, one of them being this is the most affordable, interchangeable lens, digital Leica, that you can buy. I could not be more excited about this camera, so let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look. Okay, that was by far the coolest camera unboxing experience I've ever had. But if you didn't know, this is the Leica T. And so like I said earlier, this is the cheapest interchangeable lens digital Leica camera that you can purchase. And that alone is a huge selling point to this camera. That's pretty much the reason I purchased this camera. Because with the Leica T, you can get the Leica build quality, which I'll get into in just a second. It's pretty crazy. As well as the Leica colors and lens bow and everything else you get with a Leica camera like this for about $500. This one specifically, I picked up used from mpb.com for $534. Now I will link that down in the description and I am a part of MPB's affiliate program, but this isn't sponsored by them or anything like that. And you can also pick this up used from a bunch of other places like eBay or KEH.com or really anywhere else you can purchase used cameras from. These are kind of hard to find, but you can definitely pick these up for right around $500 used. Now, I can already see some of you thinking that's a crazy amount of money to spend on a camera, and some of you are probably thinking, there's no way there's a Leica for that low of a price. And I can definitely see both sides to that. However, for a Leica camera like this, especially an interchangeable lens digital Leica for $500, that's legitimately about one tenth of the price of the popular interchangeable lens digital Leica cameras. And even most of the older Leica film cameras are well over 500, well over a thousand, two thousand dollars even. So really overall for what you're getting in this package for the Leica brand, this is a pretty crazy deal. All right, now let's take a look at what you get for a $500 Leica camera. So the Leica T was released in 2014, so that makes this a 10-year-old camera now. But honestly, if I didn't say that, and if you didn't know about this camera already, you would not believe this came out 10 years ago. This camera was so ahead of its time when it was released, which again, I'll get into in just a second. But first, I just wanna throw out a few more quick specs to this camera. So first of all, it's a pretty small camera. You know, it's a little bigger than like a Sony A6000 or something like that. And in it, you get a 16 megapixel APS-C size sensor, with Leica's L mount. So like I said, this is a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera, which is one of the best parts about this. And this is actually also the first ever camera released with the Leica L mount. It actually originally didn't even have that name. I believe it was the Leica T mount or something like that. And I ended up switching the name to the Leica L mount and now it's a pretty popular lens mount. And now one of the crazy things about this camera, this entire camera was machined out of a solid block of aluminum. So there's no seams on this, there's no bolts or anything pulling all the different pieces together. This entire body is one solid block of aluminum. And going off of that, this camera body was designed in partnership with Audi. So you get Leica and Audi collaborating on the design of this fully aluminum camera. And that just makes this such a beautiful looking camera. It's, it feels so amazing in the hand just being this solid block of aluminum. The curves and lines of this camera look awesome. This is really the best looking camera that I've ever personally owned. It might be a little bit of a polarizing look, but I think this thing is awesome. I, the design of it is just perfect. But it gets even crazier when you flip around to the back and see that the entire back of this camera is just a touchscreen. There's not a single button on the back of this camera besides these two top dials right here. But besides that, the only thing on the back of this camera is just this huge 3.7 inch touchscreen. Again, this is a 10 year old camera. Even brand new cameras coming out don't have screens this big. And even the responsiveness of this touchscreen is fantastic. You use it to go through all the menus to change all your settings you know, besides the two top dials, like I said, on the top that you use to adjust things like focus zoom and f-stop and things like that, every single other function on this camera is just controlled by this massive touchscreen. And so this is a pretty polarizing camera. I'm not going to say the design, the look, the feel, the usability of this camera is for everybody, but the overall design and everything about this camera is just so ahead of its time. It's crazy even seeing a camera like this in 2024. And so on the top of this camera, it's also very simple. You have a shutter button, a record button, an on and off switch, as well as you turn it a little more to open up the flash right there. On this side of the camera, there's pretty much nothing. On this side, there's this little plastic door here, which is pretty much the only piece of plastic on this camera. And you get a micro USB as well as an SD card slot. However, this camera also has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. So you don't even need an SD card to use this camera. And 
It looks like I have 481 more photos I can take on the internal storage. So you really don't even need an SD card to operate this camera. Again, pretty much zero cameras, even in 2024, brand new cameras don't even have internal storage like this. And this comes with 16 gigabytes of just built-in storage. So if you don't have an SD card, if you forget your SD card or just don't want to use one, you're still set to go with the Leica T. Everything about this camera is just so well thought out and designed. Even if I want to take the battery out, I flip this here, it just pops out a little bit, and then all you have to do is just click it down and it'll pop right out. I mean, the battery is such a simple part of a camera, but even just that, you can tell they just, every single part of this camera, they put so much thought into designing and making it function just intuitively and pretty much just perfectly. But of course, it doesn't matter how cool a camera looks or how good the build quality is, if it doesn't take great looking photos, and this definitely does. You get a 16 megapixel sensor. It creates really sharp photos as Leica's L mount. So you can attach a bunch of different lenses. I actually picked up this TT Artisan's 25 millimeter F2 lens for like 40 or $50 that I'm planning on pairing with this camera pretty much most of the time. I mean, the look of this lens really couldn't fit the Leica T any better. Now, hopefully you've seen some photo examples that I've taken with this by now. However, I'm planning on making a follow-up video in the next month or two after I really thoroughly use this camera and take a bunch of photos with with it and really get some thoughts on what I think of this and you know of course have a lot more photo examples to show you and so I'm taking this as my only camera on a trip I have next month and I'll get a bunch of photos during that trip so it will be a little bit until I make a follow-up on this camera but definitely consider subscribing and staying tuned for that and that video will be more of a review I'll have a lot more information about this and of course a lot more photo examples to show you but I wanted to make this video just to talk about my first ever real Leica here as well as why this camera is just so ahead of its time like you really wouldn't believe this is a 10 year old camera, you know, unless of course you knew about it before this video. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe and stay tuned for, you know, the next video about this camera. And also let me know down in the comments what you think of the design of this, you know, a, a full solid block of aluminum like this with just one big touchscreen on the back with really no other buttons besides these two programmable dials. It's a very polarizing design, but I really think it's one of the best cameras I've ever seen. But let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.